I've come to the conclusion that it's impossible for Congress to keep up with the speed of technology. Right now, their goal is to basically come up with what's going to be a to-do list for future years. Imagine a world where robots walk among us, not just as tools, but as helpers in our daily lives. This isn't a scene from a science fiction movie, it's becoming our reality. The journey towards this future began with a simple idea. What if machines could do more than just heavy lifting? What if they could be our partners, helping us with our day-to-day -day tasks? A company named FigureEye has taken a bold step in this direction. You're watching The Context, it's time for our newly minted segment, AI Decoded. Welcome to AI Decoded, it's the time of the week when we dig deep into some of the most eye-catching stories in the world of artificial intelligence. We begin this week with this story from Tech Radar: stunning achievement in humanoid robotic development. OpenAI and the startup robotics firm Figure AI have released a video this week demonstrating the real sci-fi capabilities of a new visual language model, and we'll be showing you a clip of that in just a minute's time. They've created a robot called Figure One that can chat with you understand what you're saying, and even help you out with tasks around the house or office. It's like having a helper who's always there, ready to lend a hand. The idea of robots like Figure One is both exciting and a bit nerve-wracking. Well, we see a future where there might be 10 billion humanoids on the planet. Our mission really here is to expand human capabilities. If we have humanoids in the market able to do any physical labor, you know what that does for the world. Labor is a choice. You're free up to do more things you love every day. And we think that's really an exciting, inspiring future. It's thrilling to think about all the ways they could make life easier, but it also makes us wonder about the jobs they might do instead of people. Could this be the new normal? Will robots become a common sight in workplaces and homes? In this video, we'll explore how humanoid robots are changing the game and what this means for all of us. From the early days of simple machines to the complex robots of today, we're witnessing a significant shift in how we think about technology and its role in our lives. So let's dive in and see how the advent of humanoid robots is shaping up to be a defining moment in our history. In the world of technology, a breakthrough is like finding a key to a door that's been locked for ages. It's that aha moment when something that seemed impossible becomes possible. And when it comes to robots, these breakthroughs are changing everything. Let's talk about Figure I, the company that's making waves with their robot Figure One. They started not too long ago in 2022, and in just a short time, they've done some pretty amazing things. This robot here is our first version robot. We have five of them in our facility. It's a fully electromechanical system, so it means batteries and electric motors. It has about 30 degrees of freedom, multiple different types of cameras for perception systems. Right now, what we're trying to do is doing fully end-to-end -end autonomous applications with this robot. So can we do like human-like work at human speeds? Uh, over the last 30 days, we'd be able to demonstrate uh, that work here in our lab. They got big names believing in their vision. Companies and people who know a thing or two about tech like Microsoft and NVIDIA, and even Jeff Bezos, the guy who started Amazon. So what's their big plan? Well, Figure Eye wants to make robots that can do more than just one thing. They want to create helpers that can learn and adapt, just like people do. They're not making robots that just follow a set of instructions. They're making robots that can think on their feet. Now, you might be wondering, how did they get so far so fast? It's all thanks to the money and support they've received. They managed to gather a hopping $70 million in just one year. And recently, they raised an even more impressive $675 million. That's a lot of money, and it shows that people really believe in what they're doing. When we talk about robots and AI, it's like talking about peanut butter and jelly, they just go together perfectly. AI is the brain that gives robots the smarts they need to understand us and the world around them. And when you combine the two, you get something really special. So how does this work with Figure Eye's robot, Figure One? It's all about making the robot smart enough to chat with you, understand what you're asking, and then actually do it. It's like teaching a robot to be a little more human. The big deal here is the partnership between Figure AI and OpenAI. OpenAI is a group of super smart people who are all about making AI that can learn and think. By teaming up, 
they've given figure one the ability to have a conversation that feels pretty natural. It's not just about following orders, it's about understanding them. Imagine you ask figure one to bring you an apple from the table. It doesn't just grab the first thing it sees. It looks at the table, figures out which one is the apple, and then brings it to you. And if you ask it why it did that, it can explain in a way that makes sense. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. That's the power of AI. It's like giving the robot a bit of common sense. But it's not just about talking. Figure one can see too. It has cameras that work like eyes, and the AI helps it make sense of what it's seeing. So if it's looking at a messy table, it can figure out what needs to be cleaned up and where things should go. It's like having a helper who can see the mess and knows just how to tidy it up. When figure one decides to do something, it sends out instructions super fast, 200 times a second. That means it can make tiny adjustments in no time, just like a cat can pounce on a toy mouse in a blink. Figure one isn't just a robot that does chores. It's a robot that can talk to you and not in a robotic way, but more like a friend would. It can understand your words, answer your questions, and even explain why it's doing what it's doing. This is where things get really interesting. Figure one can hesitate in its speech, say um and ah, and even make little mistakes when it talks. This might not sound like a big deal, but it's huge. It makes the robot seem less like a machine and more like a person. It's like the difference between talking to a recording and having a real conversation. And it's not just about talking. Figure one can also understand what it sees. If you point to a pile of laundry, it knows that those clothes need to be folded and put away. It's learning to recognize things in the world just like we do, which is a big step for a robot. In the world of work, Robots are starting to take on bigger roles. It's like they're stepping up to the plate, ready to swing at whatever task we throw their way. And it's not just one or two companies trying this out. It's becoming a big deal across the whole industry. Take Amazon, for example. They're backing a robot called Digit, made by a company named Agility Robotics. This robot is designed to do the kind of work you'd see in a warehouse. It can lift boxes, move things around, and it's built to work in spaces made for people. That means it can go where humans go, do what humans do, and it doesn't need any special changes to the workplace to get its job done. And it's not just about doing the job, it's about doing it well. These robots can work long hours without needing a break. They don't get tired or need vacations. They just keep going, which is pretty handy for a business. But it's not just Amazon. Other big names like NVIDIA are getting in on the action too. They've got this project called Groot, which is all about teaching robots to understand us better and learn from watching what we do. It's like giving robots a fast-track education in being helpful. Then there's Uptronic, a robot designed to zip around warehouses, moving goods for up to 22 hours a day. All it needs is a quick battery swap now and then, and it's back on the job. It's set to start deliveries in 2025, and there's even talk of it teaming up with NASA for tasks in dangerous environments or even spacewalks. And we can't forget about Tesla's Optimus robot. It's been shown folding clothes and doing other household tasks. While it's not fully autonomous yet, it's learning fast, thanks to Tesla's expertise in self-driving technology. It's a glimpse into a future where robots could be as common in our homes as dishwashers and vacuum cleaners. Now let's talk about the future of work. It's a hot topic because with all these robots coming into the picture, things are changing. And they're changing fast. It used to be that people thought only manual labor jobs, like working in a factory, would be taken over by robots. But now we're seeing that even jobs that need some brain power are being affected by AI and robots. Reports are saying that millions of jobs might be lost because of this new tech. Robots and artificial intelligence could take 36 million jobs away from Americans, according to a new Brookings Institution report. 
Well, some big changes are expected for the global job market. According to a report published Sunday by the World Economic Forum, 14 million jobs will disappear in the next five years. This is more companies adopt advanced technologies like artificial intelligence. Researchers estimate that about 60% of jobs in advanced economies could be impacted by AI. Like with all technological revolutions, I expect there to be significant impact on jobs. I think if this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. It basically does the job of 700 full-time agents, and it's happening probably at an unprecedented pace compared to some other industrial revolutions that we've seen historically. There will be a time in the future where robots can do most of what humans currently do. We're not there yet, and shame on us if we end up using it to make people worse off. Jobs in fields like law, architecture, and even healthcare could see a big shift. And as robots get cheaper to make and better at their jobs, more and more companies will want to use them. So what does this mean for us? Well, it's a bit of a mixed bag. On one hand, robots could take over jobs that are tough, dangerous, or just plain boring, leaving us free to do more interesting stuff. But on the other hand, we have to think about what happens to the people whose jobs are replaced by robots. It's a big question, and there's no easy answer. But one thing's for sure. The world of work is heading into a new era, and robots are going to be a big part of it. Now let's talk about how these robots are going to be used. It's not just big companies that will have them. Soon, they could be in homes and offices everywhere. It's like when computers first started showing up everywhere. At first, it was just a few people who had them, but now, almost everyone does. Figure 1 is just the start. Figure AI is already testing their robots in places like car factories to see how they can help out. But what about having a robot of your own? It might sound like something from the future, but that future is closer than you think. The price of making robots is going down and they're getting easier to use. So one day, you might be able to go to a store and buy a robot to help around the house. It's an exciting time, and it's full of possibilities. Robots like Figure One could be a big help, making life easier and more fun. And as they become a part of our world, we'll all learn to live, work, and play together, people and robots side by side. And that's it from us today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content on business and tech, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be bringing you more updates and insights on the latest developments in the world of technology.